Prairie Scapes um, takes a look at three different landscapes throughout the state, and um, they're really three very different landscapes. Um, the first is Tall Grass Prairie. Uh, which is what you usually think of when you think of Iowa Prairie. Uh, and then there's two lesser known landscapes that not everyone, even even inside Iowa, living in Iowa, doesn't always know about. Um, one is the Lust Hills, which are along the western border of Iowa. And the third is the Driftless area, which uh, people in Decorah will be very familiar with because they are living in it. Um, so the first movement is tall grass and um, about 80 percent or more of iowa was originally uh, covered in tall grass prairie um, years ago before it the, the earth was plowed and settled and created uh, turned into farmland um, and on first glance you might think that it's not that much more interesting to look at than a cornfield is now but on further examination it's a really fascinating ecosystem um, and through the music i um i created kind of textures out of uh, cor uh eighth note triplets that um, create kind of a floating flowing effect that um, kind of sounds as if you would be looking at grasses waving um, like a sea, um, like you're looking for miles and miles and miles and all you can see is, is grass. Um, the second movement is Lus Hills, and uh, the Lus Hills were formed um, over thousands of years uh, from wind. Uh, very, very fine soil is found there. It's called Lus, and um, this soil was blown upwards and then packed down into drifts and then dunes and hills and mounds over thousands of years. And this is especially unique because it's the only place in the whole world, except for one other area in China, where the the Lus composites are as tall as they are. Um, and then they are, of course, covered in prairie grass. Um, and so in the beginning of the movement, you'll hear uh, wind sounds coming from the brass and you'll hear the music rising upwards. So that's a sound of um, the wind floating upwards and then the soil then becomes packed down. And after you hear kind of the formation of the hills, um, the trombone will kind of take a, a journey walking up and down these grass covered hills. And the third movement is Driftless. Uh, like I said, the Driftless area is in Northeast Iowa and Decorah is a part of it. So the orchestra and most of the audience will be very familiar with it. Um, it is called the Driftless area because it um, was not covered in ice in the last ice age and therefore does not have glacial drift or uh, kind of the deposits that come the the soil and rock and gravel that comes um, when a glacier moves through and what's left behind and that makes it a very um, unique landscape and very different from what's around it um, it's much more rugged. It has um, steep hills and forested areas and uh, deeply carved river valleys uh, with cold water trout streams moving through um, and patches of prairie as well. Um, so in this movement, it kind of starts out almost in a triumphant type way, like you're overlooking this varied land landscape. Uh, and then the music takes on kind of a more jagged feel and switches um, back and forth from different ideas uh, a little bit. And suddenly the music will kind of drop down a rocky cliff face into uh, a stream and f start floating down a stream. Um, and you'll also hear towards the end of that movement some remnants of of prairie from the first movement that actually come in almost like um, you can imagine the patches of prairie and valleys and on top on hilltops.